Hello everyone and welcome back to our virtual Mishnah Berish here. We're holding Mishnah Berish Yalik Aleph and we will be learning today in Yitz Hashem, Daf Lamed Tes Amid Beis. We are continuing to learn Hilchas Trillin. We pick up today on the top line of Lamed Tes Amid Beis with a brand new simon, Simon Chav Tes. And the title of the simon, interestingly enough, is simply Ubay Sif Echad. And here we have one Sif. Says the Mechaber in Sif Aleph, Ein Levarech Shum Bracha, we do not make a bracha when we take off our tefillin. That sounds very interesting. Obviously, we need to know and understand the back story over here. Why should we think that you should recite a bracha when you take off your tefillin? So let's go right into the Mishtabura before we go right in the Mechaber. Mishtabura, ice cotton aleph, ein levare. We do not make a bracha when we take off tefillin. Pirish. The explanation of this is, says the Chavetz Chaim, La'afuke, this stands in contrast, Mimai da Amrinan, from that that we say in the Gemara, Nida nun Aleph Amid Beis, the Bidei Ma'arava, that the people in Eretz Yisrael, Hayu Mevarchin, they used to make a bracha, Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvaysa V'tzivanu, Lishmar Chukav. They used to make a bracha, Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvaysa V'tzivanu, Lishmar Chukav, to keep his chukim. Basar de Misalki Tfilin Balayla. When they would take off Tfilin at night, they would make this bracha of Asher Kedishanu B'Mitzvah of Sivanu, Lishmar Chukav. Now, why would they make this bracha? So the Mishnah explains. Shehem Hayu Saivrim, the Bnei Ma'arava held, the Laila Lavzman Tfilin Hu, that Midaraisa, nighttime, is not as man for Tfilin. There's no chiv of tefillin at night, and you're not supposed to wear tefillin at night. mikra, and they learned this out from a pasuk. So they learned out that it was a din daraisa that you're not supposed to wear tefillin at night, and lailo lavzman tefillin. What pasuk did they learn it from? Devishamarta esachuka hazois lamayada miyamim yamima. We have the parsha of tefillin. And right after the parsha of Tefillin, the Torah Doisha says, "V'shamarta esachuk hazois." You should keep this chayk lemoyada in its proper time, miyamim yamima, on every day. And we darshan from there. The Bnei Marava said, "Yamim v'loy lelois," that the chiv in the mitzvah of Tefillin only applies during the day, at not at night. So, what were the Bnei Marava saying? The Bnei Marava were learning out a din daraisa from the pasuk of Shamarta Sakuk Azayis Lemayada Miyabim Yamima that you have to wear tefillin by day, but you may not wear tefillin by night. If so, it comes out that there is a mitzvah daraisa to take off the tefillin at the end of the day before you go into night because you're not allowed to wear them at night. Therefore, the Bnei Marava reasoned that by taking off the tefillin before nightfall, they are being mekayim the mitzvah of vishamarta sakuka zois miyamim yamima, and therefore it's appropriate to make a bracha on taking off the tefillin. So that's why the Bnei Marava made a bracha where they take off tefillin, and the Mechaber is telling us over here, we do not paskin like the Bnei Marava, and continues the Mishnah Brewer, and he says, Ava done, but according to us, the Sviralon, we hold the high cross osil inyan acher that this pasuk of a shamarta sakuka azois lamayada miyamim yamima is coming to teach us something else. Kedi isa be gemara, and I believe the Chavetz Chaim is referring to a gemara in Menachos where the gemara says that from miyamim yamima we learn out that miyamim there are certain days that you wear tefillin, but there are certain days that you do not wear tefillin. For example, we don't wear tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov. But in any case, we do not learn out from Vishamarta Sachuka Zois Lamayadam Yamim Yamima that you can't wear tefillin at night. Valaila Kaimalon Desman Tefillinu. We hold that Midaraisa, really Lila, is a Zman for tefillin. Ach, ain't Lahanicham Lachatchila. However, Lachatchila, we don't put tefillin on at night. The Gazru, because there's Xera de Rabbanon that we're going to learn about shortly, Shema Yishan Behem 
because we're afraid that if you might put on tefillin, if you put on tefillin at night, you might fall asleep with the tefillin, you might sleep a shinas kva with the tefillin, and you might come to be mafiach, you might come to pass gas while we're eating tefillin, which you're not allowed to do. So we hold that really Lila is as man tefillin. There's only a gzerid rabbonon that prevents us from wearing tefillin at night. But in that case, you're not being mekayim a mitzvah by taking the tefillin off, and therefore it's not appropriate to make a bracha, hilkach ein levarich. So, the first halacha that the Mechaber tells us over here, Chav Sif Aleph, is we have a shita, the Gemara in Nida, that says that you make a bracha when you take the tefillin off. That's because they held that taking the tefillin off is a kiyam of the mitzvah, of Ishamarta Sachuka Zeis Lamayada Miyamim Yamima, which means that Midaraisa, you're not allowed to wear tefillin at night. So taking them off is a kiyam of the mitzvah. Kamash Malan, that we don't pask in that way. We hold that Midaraisa Lila is Azman of tefillin. And the only reason we don't put tefillin on at night is because of Xera Darabanan, and therefore it would be inappropriate to make a bracha. Now continues the Mechaber, and the Mechaber says, Afilu kishacholtzam erev Shabbos bein hashmashes. This halacha that we don't make a bracha when we take off tefillin even applies on erev Shabbos bein hashmashes. What's the Kiddush of that? So let's take a look here at the Mishnah cut base. The Mishnah says, bein hashmashes, pirish. The explanation of this is, after kaimalad Shabbos v'yom tov lav zman tefillin, even though we do paskin that on Shabbos and Yom Tov, you don't wear tefillin. And that we learn out is a dindaraisa. So wait a second. The B'nai Marava held that it's appropriate to make a bracha when you take off your tefillin at the end of the day every day because with daraisa, you can't wear tefillin at night. So when you take the tefillin off before nightfall, you're being a mekayim a mitzvah daraisa, so you make a bracha. So, says the Mechaber, how about us? We hold that Midaraisa, you don't wear tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov. So maybe we should make a bracha when we take off our tefillin right before Shabbos or right before Yom Tov, because we're being a Mechaim and Daraisa. Says the Mechaber, no. Even then, even then, when we agree that Midaraisa, you're not supposed to wear tefillin, still it's inappropriate to make a bracha. Why? So first, let's see what the Mishnah says, then I'll read to you the Aruch HaShulchan. The Mishnah says, After Kaimel on Shabbos for Yom Tov loves Man Tefillin, even though we do hold that Midaraisa, you don't wear Tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov, and were you to put on your Tefillin on Shabbos or on Yom Tov, and you would put it on L'Shem Mitzvah, so you go on Shabbos, you go on Yom Tov, and you put on your tefillin, having in mind, having kavana that you want to be mekayim the mitzvah of tefillin, over a Baal Tosef. You would be over on a Daraisa. It's an Isser Daraisa of Baal Tosef. Still, mikam makayim, kevan she'em menichan alav bali kavana l'shem mitzvah, ein bazeh Isser min ha-tayra, elam edivrei soifrim. It's true. If you put on the tefillin with kavana, that you're putting them on L'Shem Mitzvah, you are over on a Daraisa of Baal Taisif. But, says the Mishnah if you are to put on your tefillin on Shabbos or on Yom Tov without Kavana to be Mekayim the Mitzvah, you just put them on Stamazoi, then you're not being over Daraisa. In order to be over Baal Taisif, you have to have Kavana L'Shem Mitzvah. If you put them on without Kavana L'Shem Mitzvah, you're not being over Daraisa. What are you being over? Continues the Mishnah only Mishum Gzeira. It's only Xerah de Rabbanon. What's the Xerah de Rabbanon? That, that you shouldn't put on tefillin on Shabbos. Xerah Shem Yetzeb and Lerusha Sarabim. There's a separate Xerah. We're afraid. What if you put on tefillin on Shabbos and you're wearing the tefillin outside in Lerusha Sarabim and then you feel the need to pass gas, you might come to take the tefillin off and you might come to carry them Dalai Lama to Lerusha Sarabim. V'yeshcholkin gamal alzeh. And there are even those that disagree with this. Therefore, says the Mishnah, it's inappropriate to make a bracha on taking off the tefillin, even if you take them off right before Shabbos. Because really, there's no intrinsic mitzvah involved 
in taking off the tefillin, and you're only removing them for the sake of exera. Okay, this was very complicated. So let me spell it out to you. Let me try to spell it out to you clearly outside. The possible reason we've seen to make a bracha when you take off your tefillin is based on the sheet of the Bnei Marava and the Gemara in Nida. The Bnei Marava held that Midaraisi, you're not allowed to wear tefillin at night. Since Midaraisi, you don't wear tefillin at night, when you take off your tefillin at the end of the day, you're being a Mekayim Mitzvah Daraisa to take off your tefillin. Therefore, it's appropriate to make a bracha. Now, where did the Bnei Marava learn this from? They learned it from a Pasuk that says, Vishamarta Sachuka Azois Lamayada, Miyamim Yamima. We know that in the Torah, when you have a lotion of Shmira, Vishamarta, sometimes that connotes an Issa Daraisa. So when the Pasuk says, Vishamarta Sachuka Azois Lamayada, you should keep this chayk, Vishamarta, Miyamim Yamima. You should be, you should watch Vishamarta. You should watch this chayk not to wear tefillin at night. So that means that it's a tzivoy midaraisa to take off your tefillin at the end of the day. Therefore, it's appropriate to make a bracha. That's the sheet of the Bnei Marava. Now, we don't hold that way. We hold that midaraisa, you're allowed to wear tefillin at night. So for us, we have no havimina to make a bracha when we take off our tefillin at the end of the day. So, so far we've covered taking off your tefillin at the end of a regular day. The Bnei Marava held it's appropriate to make a bracha. We hold it's not appropriate to make a bracha. Then the Mechaber says, how about taking off your tefillin ben Ashmoshes right before Shabbos or right before Yom Tov? Why is that different? Because over there we also agree that you're not allowed to wear tefillin midaraisa on Shabbos and Yom Tov. So just like the Bnei Marava held, since you're not allowed to wear tefillin midaraisa at night, it's appropriate to make a bracha when you take the tefillin off at the end of the day. Maybe by us too, when we agree that midaraisa, you're not allowed to wear tefillin on Chavez and Yom Tiv, maybe it's appropriate to make a bracha when you take them off, ben hashmashas, right before Shabbos or right before Yom Tiv. Says the Mechaber, no. Even ben hashmashas before Shabbos and Yom Tiv, we don't make a bracha. Explains the Mishtabura, the reason is as follows. You have to understand that there's a critical difference between the Bnei Marava taking off their tefillin before nightfall and us taking off our tefillin be- before Shabbos and Yom Tov. By the Bnei Marava taking off their tefillin before nightfall, they're being Mekayim Mitzvah Daraisa of Shamarta Sachuka Azois Lamayada Biyamim Yamima. When we take off our tefillin before Shabbos and before Yom Tov, we're not being Mekayim the Mitzvah of Shamarta Sachuka Azois Lamayada Biyamim Yamima. The fact that we don't wear tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov has nothing to do with that Pasuk. The reason we don't wear uh, tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov is because we dash in a different Pasuk. It says that the tefillin should be an ois. It says that they should be an ois. And we don't need an ois on Shabbos and Yom Tov because Shabbos is its own ois and Yom Tov is, is its own ois. So as far as the fact that Midaraisa, we don't wear tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov, it has nothing to do with the Pasuk of Yishamarta. Like the Aruch HaShulchan says, V'afilu be'eru Shabbos ben Hashmoshes she'tzarech lahasiram. Even though we agree that Midaraisa, before Shabbos and Yom Tov, you must take off your tefillin, still ain't levarech, it's still inappropriate to make a bracha. Delay mi v'yishamarta anu loim demaisai. Because we don't learn this from the Pasuk of Vishamarta that connotes an isa daraisa, a tzivui, to take them off, so it's appropriate to make a bracha. Elam yishim la'ais. We learn it out from the fact that the Torah calls tefillin an ice, and we don't need the ice of tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov. But it's not a tzivui that you must take them off. All it is is you don't need to wear it. Now, lamaisa midrabanan, we have to take them off. Because midrabanan, we have exera. We don't want you to wear tefillin on Shabbos because you might come to carry them in Rosh Hashanah. But that's a Durabana, not a Daraisa. So we're not going to make a bracha. Also, there's another Daraisa of Baltaisif. But the Daraisa of Baltaisif is only if you put the tefillin on with Kavana to be Mekayim the Mitzvah on Shabbos and Yom Tov. If you don't do that, there is no Daraisa. So therefore, when, when all the dust settles, Paskins the Mechaber, 
it's not appropriate for us to make a bracha and take off the tefillin even right before Shabbos or right before Yom Tov because we're not really being mekayim a mitzvah by taking them off. Okay, fascinating little, very short one sif in Shulchan Aruch. Okay. Now we move on to Sim and Lamed. Zman Hanachosan, the proper time for putting on tefillin. Ubay hei si'ifim, and here we have five si'ifim, says the Mechabe Sif Aleph. Zman Hanachosan Babayker, the proper time for putting on the tefillin in the morning. Now it's not really the proper time for putting on tefillin in the morning. It really means the earliest time. Says the Mishnah, is cut in Aleph, Ritzayinoy Laimar. What the Mechabe wants to say is Tchilas Zman Hanachosan the beginning of the time period when you could put on tefillin. So let's go back into the Mechaber. Zman Hanachosan Babaker, the beginning of the time that you could put on your tefillin in the morning is Mishayire Es when you see your friend, what kind of friend? Harogel Imoy Ktsas, an acquaintance that you know somewhat. Berichok Arba Amis, when he is four Amis distant from you, the Yakirenu, and you could recognize him. So what's the earliest time that you could put on tefillin? It's the time that we know colloquially as Mishayakir, when you could recognize an acquaintance of yours, not your dear best friend, not somebody that you hardly know, an acquaintance that you know somewhat, that it's light enough outside, that if he would be standing four hours away from you, you would recognize him. That's the earliest zman that you could put on tefillin. Says the Mishnah, "Is Khan Aleph Hanachosan Ritzayin Alarm at Tchilas Man Hanachosan." The Mechaber is describing the earliest time, the beginning of the time that you could put on tefillin. Um Mishayira, that's this time of Mishayaker. Um Mitzvasan Kalayoyim, but the mitzvah of tefillin really continues for the entire day. Ukidol Kaman B'Sim and Lamin Zayin Ayin Shom Vatam, and the rationale for why this is the zman that you could start to put on tefillin. Why is this man that you could start to put on fill in this man of Mishayak here? Explains the um, Mishtabura. Vatam, the Adzman Azech, Aishin and Sheme Yishan Behem. Until that point of the morning, we're still afraid that you might come to fall asleep while you're wearing your tefillin. And therefore, before Mishayak here, it's still considered night in the context of Hilchas Tefillin. Ice cut and base. It has to be a chaver that you're ruggle imoy ktsas, an acquaintance that you know somewhat. Deal with harbe, because if it's somebody who you know extremely well, yakireno afilu meirachayk, such a person you could recognize from the way he walks, you could recognize from his mannerisms, even if he's very far away, or even if it's still quite dark, you could still recognize him if you know him very well. And if it's somebody you don't know at all, him you wouldn't recognize even if he was standing right next to you. So the Zman of Mishayakir only makes sense by a Chaver that you're ruggle imaykitzas. Now we go to Sif Beis, says the Mechaver. Asur, and this we alluded to already previously, Asur lan yach tefillin balayla, you are not allowed to put on tefillin at night. Even though Midaraisa, we pass him that Lila is a Zman Tfilin, but Midarabanan, also Lan Yach Tfilin Balila, Midarabanan, you are not allowed to put on Tfilin at night. Why? Explains the Mechaber, Shema Yishkachem, because we're afraid that you might forget that you're wearing them and it's already nightfall. The Yishan Bahem, and you'll come, you'll come to fall asleep while wearing them. What's the problem with that? Says the Mishnah, is cut and gimel. Balila. At night, you're not allowed to put on tefillin. First, the Mishnah says, okay, at night, you're not allowed to put on tefillin. Or ben Ashmashis. How about during the twilight period? The time we call ben Ashmashis between Shkia and Sesa Kechavim that we consider to be Suffolk Yom and Suffolk Lila. Are you allowed to put on tefillin then? Says the Mishnah, ben Ashmashis, Medivriya Magen Avram, Mashma, Demutal, Lechatchil, Alonyak. From the Magen Avram, it seems very clear that during, during ben Ashmashis, L'chatchili you're allowed to put on tefillin. And the reason for that is, the Magen Avram says very clearly, later on the Mechaber, the Mechaber says later, Im loy chalatz tefillin mishashaka. If you didn't, uh, is that where it is? No. Im henicham kaidim shetishka hachama. If you put on your tefillin before shkia, and the, the Magen Avram jumps up and says that when the Mechaber says, mishetishka hachama, 
he means Tzay So from the Magad Avram, it's very clear that you're allowed to put on tefillin even lechatchila during Ben Hashmashas, because let's remember, the whole reason you're not allowed to put on tefillin at night is only you did the Rabbanon. What's the Gzer the Rabbanon based on? A fear that you might go to sleep. Reasons the Magad Avram, that fear only exists after Tzay It doesn't exist right away after Shkia. That's early to be worried that a person is going to go to sleep while he's wearing his tefillin. So again, says the Mishnah over here, nice cut and gimel. Uben Hashmoshes, as far as putting on tefillin during Ben Hashmoshes, Medivri HaMagin Avram, Mashma, from the Magin Avram, it is very clearly implied, the Mutal Lechatchila Lehaniach, that even Lechatchila you're allowed to put on tefillin. Ava Bepribagadim is tapit pozeh. But the Pribagadim is besopik, whether you're allowed to put on tefillin during Ben Hashmoshes. Unless you'll tell me a person forgot to put on tefillin all day, and now he realized he didn't put on tefillin today, he doesn't want to risk being Poshe Yisrael Begufa on the Karkafta to Leimunach tefillin, so he wants to chop around and he wants to still put on tefillin during, uh, during Ben Hashmoshes, then the Oz Yanichem Ben Hashmoshes, then even the Prebogadim agrees that you should put them on during Ben Hashmashis, from the Bir Halacha later on, it sounds like you would put them on without a bracha. You wouldn't make a bracha because we have this suffolk whether you're allowed to put them on. So we're not going to tell you to make a bracha. But at least without a bracha, you could put them on. Ice cut and dalit. The Bechaber said the fear is that you might forget that you're wearing the tefillin, the yishan bohem. What's the problem if you'll fall asleep while wearing the tefillin? Says the Chavitz Chai, the Chayshinon, we are concerned, Shema Yafiach Bishnasai, that you might pass gas while you're sleeping and wearing the tefillin, which you're not allowed to do. Avu Midaraisa Mutala Nicham Balayla. But strictly Midaraisa, you're allowed to put on tefillin at night. The Kaim alone, because we paskid that Layla is man tefillin. Now it's very interesting because from what we're learning over here, it seems to come out that if a person neglected to put on tefillin during the day, and now he wants to put on tefillin at night. He's not allowed to. I, this person is desperate. He didn't put on tefillin all day. First of all, you already missed the day. If it's already after Tzitzit you're already going into the next day. So putting on tefillin now is not going to help you. But also, there's, let's say somebody knows he's not going to be able to put on tefillin tomorrow. Yesh koyach pidei chachomim. The chazal had the koyach to be mevatel a mitzvah da araisa b'shev va'altaisa. The Chazal could tell you, because of the Xera that you should not be Mekayim a Mitzvah Daraisa, B'Shev Altaisa. As long as you're being Mavatal the Mitzvah passively. We're not telling you to actively be Mavatal the Mitzvah. We're telling you passively, sit back and don't put on tefillin. So passively, you're going to be Mavatal the Mitzvah. Yesh Kayach Biyad Chachamim, Levatal Mitzvah Saseim Daraisa, B'Shev Altaisa. Now we go right there in the Mechaber, second line into Simon Lamed, near the end of the line. If you put on tefillin before Shkia, the Chashcha Olav, and then it got dark while you were wearing your tefillin. Afilu heim Olav kalalayla mutter. The Mechaber says, when I told you that it's usher to put on tefillin balayla, that's to put them on at night. But if you were wearing the tefillin before Shkia, and like the Mogan Avram says, this means Tzaysakechavim, and then it became night. Even if you remain with the tefillin on all night, you're not mechuyiv to take them off. Explains the Mishnah Rai's cut, hey, kaidim, ritzayna eloimar. What the Mechaber wants to say is, Talay Osir Rabbanon Rak Lanicham Lechatchila Balayla. The only Isser Midrabbanon is to put on your tefillin at night. Avom Ikevich Chakfar Munachin Alav Biba Ayyayim. But if you were already wearing them during the day, we don't require you to take them off. And Mishnah Bura is cut and vav. The Mechaber said, even if you wear them, kalalayla. Says the Mishnah Bura, kalalayla, pirish, calls man she'en chaltzan. As long as you don't take them off. Deal chaltzan, pamachas. But once you take the tefillin off at night, shavasar lanichan, you're not allowed to put them back on. So, so far, when it comes at, well, let's do one more Mishnah Bura. It's cut and zayin mutter. It's mutter for you to continue wearing the tefillin until you want to go to sleep. But when you want to go to sleep, you have to take them off. Because you're not allowed to go to sleep while you're wearing the tefillin. Like we're going to see in Simon Memdalit. So, so far what we have over here is like this. 
The Mechaber says it's also to put on tefillin at night. What does that mean? It means to go put your tefillin on when it's already night is an Isid Rabbanon. What's the Isid Rabbanon? There's a Xero, we're afraid if you put on your tefillin at night, you might fall asleep. What's so bad if you fall asleep? Shema Yafiach, you might pass gas. So you're not allowed to get up and put on your tefillin at night. What happens if you were wearing your tefillin already during the day? So the Mechaber said you're allowed to leave them on. And you're allowed to leave them on even kal halayla. Explains to Mishnah Brewer, that only means that you're allowed to leave them on so long as you don't take them off. But if you do take them off, you're not allowed to put them back on. Furthermore, said the Mishnah Brewer, if you are wearing your tefillin at night and you decide now it's time that you want to go to sleep, obviously you have to take them off before you go to sleep. Now continues the Mishnah Brewer here in Ice Cotton Zion, and he says, V'efshir the balayla desman shinahu, Says the Chavetz Chaim, it's possible, and he brings this down from a prima gadam, that at night, which is a time for sleeping, we know that during the day you're allowed to sleep a shin of sarai with your tefillin. You can take a quick little cat nap while you're wearing your tefillin during the day. Says the Chavetz Chaim, it's possible that, that, that at night you're not even allowed to sleep a shin of sarai in your tefillin. Why? Since night is a time for a shin of kva, we don't even let you sleep a shina sarai because we're afraid it might come to a shina skva. Now comes a cute punchline. Says the Mechaber, three lines down near the end of the line. The Mechaber said if you were wearing the tefillin and it became night, you're allowed to keep them on, even if you're going to end up wearing them all night. But now, says the Mechaber right by the ice cotton ches for the Mishtabura, the ain myrin cane. However, even though this is mutter, we don't paskin that way. We don't give out that psak. We don't tell somebody that this is mutter. Says the Mishnah Baruch's Kat We don't tell this halacha lamaisa to somebody else. So somebody comes to us and says, I'm wearing my tefillin. Can I just leave them on? Even though Shkia, even though Tzesek Echavim is in five minutes, could I just leave them on? We don't paskin, yes, you could just leave them on. We tell them better take them off. Says the Mishnabura, why? Because Shema Yavayu Lahalikham Lechatchil. We're afraid that if we give out that psak, people might come to put on their tefillin even Lechatchil by night. Valkain Layasikain Elabeinoy Labeinatsmai. And since the halacha is that it's mutter ve'ein Moirin Kain, you should only do this between you and the four walls. If you're home, in your house, during the day, and for whatever strange reason you're wearing tefillin late in the afternoon, and you want to keep your tefillin on after shkia, after taste, you may, but that's between you and your four walls. You're not doing it barabim, no one's going to see it, you're not telling anybody. Avaloi barabim, you're not allowed to do it barabim, because doing it barabim is a form of pasketing that you're allowed to do it, because people learn from your actions. Valkain, and therefore, ain't his palbem tefillus arvis. But Tainus Tzibur Barabim, if you're in a place where they have the minute to wear tefillin my mincha on a Tainus Tzibur, so you might, you know, you'd have a mincha Mairev, you leave them on already for Mairev, says the Mishnah no, you're not allowed to wear your tefillin by Mairev on a Tainus Tzibur Barabim, because that means you're wearing your tefillin at night, even though they were on already by mincha. Continues the Mechaber, two lines from the bottom, near the beginning of the line. Im loy chalatz tefillin mishashaka chama, Let's say you were wearing your tefillin during the day and you didn't take them off after nightfall. You know why? Because you had no place safe to put them. So you figured you would just leave them on. So now they're on you, not because you just decided to leave your tefillin on. Now there's a tzayrich that you're leaving your tefillin on. You're leaving your tefillin on because you don't have a safe place to put them. Then says the Mechaber, Mutter u Meirin That's Mutter, and you can even paskin that way for somebody. You don't have a good place to put your, t- your tefillin to protect them, you can leave them on after nightfall. Says the Mishnah Baruch's Kat Tes V'Nimtzu Alav, Tafkad Nimtzu u Mekalinan u Meirin. It's only in the case where the tefillin happened to be on you after nightfall, and you don't have a safe place to put them, then we tell you to keep them on, and we can even pask it that way. Shemeshvil Hashmira ain't tzarek lachlo. It's a filu kalalayla. Calls man shelo yosha. 
אבל אני חייב לכתחילה. But let's say it's night and you don't have a safe place to keep your tefillin. So you want to put them on? Aser b'shvel ha'shmira. You're not allowed to put your tefillin on at night l'chetchila in order to protect them. But v'yesh b'kilin b'zeh, but he brings down the oilas tamid and the gra who are mekel in this case. Okay? Even though the shir is a little bit of an abbreviated shir today, we're going to stop over here with Sif Gimel. So we'll make up for the lengthy shir yesterday. Thank you so much for joining me for Leave It Out Tire. This is Leave It Out Tire. should be Megan. I got Klai Yisrael, the Rosh Hashem, Shusen, Yeshua, Sefuas, Parnasa, Chiduchim, to all those in need. And we should be Zaychet to see the B.S. called Tzedek. Bimherev, Yameinu, Amen. Be well.